Hi, so I'm gonna teach you how to do a house from from a floor plane, okay? So this is how I do it. You open Blender, okay? Go to top view. I always forget this. Okay, go to top view. You drag your uh, your plant if he is in, in a image format, okay. Now, if you go to wide view, okay, you drag it down just a little, okay, because the floor uh, of the house it will be here, okay. Go to top view again. Now we need to put this in the right size, okay? So how do I do it? I have one meter here, okay? Let me just put centimeters. So I put the cursor here. I change the pivot point to 3D cursor. I selected the image. I see how much is this, so it's 26. And now I open the calculator, okay? So one meter divided by 26.8 so I have to scale it three times and 73 okay so don't forget the pivot point scale 3.3 now you can see this as one meter okay Now you open the filter, okay, here, and uh, you choose select toggle, okay, and you click here. Now you click here, let me just drag this, you add a plane, don't forget to put it uh, in the um, Mm. in the floor okay so you open this bar or click n now you go to hit him and z you put zero okay go to top view again and scale it down Just put the cursor here and it's right. Now, what I li like to do is already extrude this, okay? So it's already selected and I extrude it uh, to 260, for example. Now I go to top view, I select the face, I go to wireframe mode, and now I just start to extrude these faces, okay? You have to select the face, okay, just let's change the, the pivot, pivot point, the end point. You extrude it. Even by the, the windows. Okay. Well, you can just stop before and after the, the windows. You will understand why, okay? 
So let me extrude. Extrude again. I stop here and I stop here and extrude again until here. And extrude and extrude again. So basically, this is how I do it, okay? Let me just finish this. I can just select these ones. go already to here and I'm, I'm lazy so I get get it here By the way, the doors don't um, extrude by it. At least I don't do that. Okay. So I just extrude here and the door. Now I do Shift V. Okay. Why? I don't see it. <laughs> so it's here. But we have to invert it. I will tell you why, okay? So, if you extrude right now, and you go see the normals, so you click here, face orientation. Oh, it's okay. You have to check if your normals are all in the same way, okay? Let me just here I can do a knife, okay, I click K, now C for angle constraint and Z for cut through, okay, and now I just do this and enter. Now, you select this face and this face, go to search box and bridge edge loops. It's done, okay. Of course you have these, these things, but let me extrude. Shift D. X extrude and extrude again and extrude. I can just extrude this one. And I can just wait a second. I can click K Z C and here and knife Z C here and now I click here enter I select this face and reach edge loops
you can do the doors by by boolean modifiers but sometimes I do this way so I forgot um, it depends the, the the height of your doors I just use okay now here and here Link. Okay, here, here. Now I select this edge and this edge. I make sure I have um, median points activated and I put Z, S, Z, zero. So now they are in the same height. Okay. You select this face, you select this face, bridge edge loops. Yeah. And you can, you can still change these designs, okay? You can see it here, global. So, 2 meters, for example, okay? Now, the, the windows, I go to a cube here okay I know that I have a window here add a cube edit moth now I click B to select these ones it's here I click A and select the toggle B again yes. I select these ones, I just go here. I go to solid view, you can click here or click Z and solid. I can change the scale of these and, and go with the me measurements, but you can do that after, okay. One thing you can do is in uh, edit preferences and add-ons you have this what is it bull tool activate the bull tool because it's faster okay you can just select your crew cube select your target and difference and it's done and now you can change this you can select this face Go up. So I have the, you go to item and you see this. You can change the height. Okay. Just like this one, of course. Basically, <laughs> it's it's this way where it all begins. Okay. Of course, after I I have the floor in a different plane. Okay, if floor are different, I have different planes in each division. Okay, so I click Shift S cursor to world origin. I have the plane. I drag it. Scale it. Oh, it's everything. Let me just so let's see. Let's see. So it's everything for now. I hope you you learned something. 
Uh, sorry for my bad English. Okay, bye.